Detector Hunter is a close-range magic user that excels in mobbing as well as support. They can handle themselves on the front lines, dealing with enemy groups with ease, as well as give their fellow party members more power and defense in order to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with bosses. Let's take a look at their skill trees. First, put three points into Tech Power Up 1, which will unlock the rest of the skill tree. Grab Sidestep Jump, First Arts Perfect Attack Edition, Air Reversal, Perfect Recovery and Attack Combo, and Double Jump when you reach the required levels. At level 80, max out High Level Bonus Tector. Next, put 6 points into Tech Power Up 2 and max out Melee Power Up. Follow this with Long Arm Assist, which will extend the duration of Shifta and Deban spells you cast. Next, grab Tech Charge JA Edition to make all charge techniques count as perfect attacks. Next up is Wand Focus, which grants the Wand Focus Gauge. The gauge charges when dealing damage with wands using charge techniques. When full, it allows you to cause explosions with your wand using normal attacks. Next, put one point in PP Restorate to gain a small boost to passive photon point regeneration. Since support is an important role for us, max out all the skills that revolve around Shifta and a band. This causes Shifta that you cast to grant an increase in critical hit rate while well, the band will now increase the player's max HP. Don't forget to grab Reverse Bonus, which will apply Shifta and the band to players you revive. These next skills are important. Max out Wand Lovers, and grab Wand Reactor and Wand Focus Element. Wand Lovers and Wand Focus Element are both skills that you toggle, which permanently max out your Wand Focus Gauge, making you cause many explosions with every swing of your wand, while allowing you to inflict status effects with melee attacks. While Wand Reactor will convert part of the tech stat of the wand you have equipped to melee damage. Next up, grab Territory Burst, Support Range Extender, and Super Treatment. Together, these will extend the range of your support techniques as well as heal you and restore photon points when you remove status effects. Though Tector can master three different elements, we want just one. Max out Dark Mastery 1 and 2. Lastly, max out Element Precision Hit, which will allow you to deal more damage to an enemy when you exploit their elemental weakness. We use the standard Hunter subclass for this build. First, put 6 points into HP up 1. When you reach level 80, be sure to max out High Level Bonus Hunter. Next, max out Perfect Attack Bonus 1 and 2. Fury Stance is an essential part of our build. Maxing out every component of Fury Stance will grant us a melee damage bonus while also granting an increase in critical hit rate. Next, putting 3 points into Guard Stance will give us access to the skill Automate Half, which we will max out. This skill makes us automatically use a potion when we drop below 50% HP. Lastly, we will max out Iron Will and Stalwart Spirit, which together Grant a 75% chance to survive a fatal blow with 1 HP, and when you do, grants 15 seconds of invincibility, which will give you a chance to heal before getting injured again. Like the Force, Tector travels best using Safoe Type 0, turning themselves into a ball of flame and rushing forward. For mobbing, cast a fully charged Ramagid Type 0. Then, with Wand Lovers active, Rush into a crowd of foes and just spam normal attacks. No, really, that's all you gotta do. Simple, effective, this is really what you do best. For bossing, our plan is basically the same. You may choose instead to keep your party buffed with Shifta and Deband and let them deal most of the damage, essentially playing a healer, but whatever you face, your main method of dealing damage is the same. Don't forget, your Shifta and Deband are more potent than any other class, so make sure to keep them active on your party as much as you possibly can. A single Tector that keeps their whole party buffed is way better than simply having four damage dealers. For skill rings, we use Alternate Wand E Change, which changes the element of your wand attacks temporarily after attacking with a fully charged technique, and Enhanced Attack, which enhances the damage dealt by normal attacks. Lastly, you should be using a melee mag with 200 levels of melee support.